Hey guys, Slowpoke95 here. Someone posted yesterday, uh, someone forgot to put a Everstone on. I, <laughs> that was really funny. Thanks, whoever you are. Um, I'm just telling you what the controls are. This is your journey. This is actually my third time recording this. Um, who's this old guy? Hello oh, there, glad to meet you. Welcome to the world of Pokemon. My name is Oak. People efficiently refer to me as the Pokemon Professor. This world Oof. is inhabited far and wide by creatures called Pokemon. For some people, Pokemon are pets, others use them for battle. I study Pokemon as a profession. Oof. But first, tell me a little about yourself. As if we couldn't tell, um, I'm sitting right in front of him. I hope you would know I'm a boy. Um, and my name, I'm not gonna put my real name. You know, like, whatever. Um, I'll just put Mr. Poke. Or Mr. Poe, my bad. Um, let's see. Yes. This is my grandson. He's been your rival since you both were babies. Don't ask why I said something like that. What's his name now? Oh no, Grandpa. Got all times again. Um, his name's going to be Ooster. Ooster actually helped me get into this. Um, it, his profile is Ooster443. Subscribe to him if you aren't already. Um, that's it. Yes. That's right, I'm now Ooster. What kind of name is Ooster? I would like cry if I named my son Ooster. Or, um, Mr. Poke. Like, what would your, if you became a teacher, like, Mr. Mr. Poke? So this is my room. Every game except Pearl, Diamond, and, um, Platinum will always have a potion or some sort of that. Uh, Let's see. So, this is a pretty nice house. I hate the floor, though. This is a very bad color scheme. Okay, hey, Mom. Right, all boys have to leave home someday. It said so on TV. Oh, yes, press Eric. Next door, I was looking for you. So, um, better be next door. I trust my mom. So, let's see. What's going on here? Just realized my mouse is really long again. Professor Oak, you have a sex change. Hi, Mr. Poke. My brother is here down at Grandpa's lap. So that's not Professor Oak. That means my mom's a liar! I can never trust her ever. Oh, whatever. Um. These people don't really say anything. As I said, third time recording. I already know. Um, I studied Pokemon as Professor Oak's aide. Right? I studied Pokemon as Professor Oak's aide. Oh, deja vu. Wait a minute. Did he clone himself? Awesome. How come I can't have a clone? Eh. Uh, Oster, what up, my man? What's it? What? It's only Mr. Pook. Grant isn't around. Uh, okay. Um, I want to play in the water. Okay, fine. Game won't let me play in the water. Let's go out. I don't need no Pokemon to protect me. I have fists. Hey, wait, wait. Don't go out. Oh, there he is. I checked every part of town. It doesn't say, well, Pokemon live in tall grass. You need your Pokemon for your protection. I know. Here, come with me. Okay, then. I already... Checked everywhere. He must have been in the water. I think he gets to have fun in the water. There are the clones. Gramps, I'm fed up with this. Oh, sir, let me think. Oh, that's right. I told you to come. Just wait. So, first he forgets his name, and now he forgets why he's here. Pretty much it just says, like, when I was a young trainer, I collected a bunch of Pokemon. And somehow I killed them all, so there's only three left. And told us to pick one. I don't feel like reading it, once again, third time recording. So this one's Bulbasaur, grass type, it's very easy to raise, as it said. 
Um, no, I don't want him. I just don't like Bulbasaur for some reason. I never like any of the grass starter types, but you do, nothing against you, you're just weird. What? I never said that. This is Squirtle. I would pick him because I never picked Squirtle, but I uh, already have a water type in mind. If you don't know who that is, look, look at my name. Okay, you looking at it? Look closer if you don't know yet. Yep, that's right. I'm going to pick uh, Staryu. I'm just kidding, it's Slowbrook, if you couldn't tell. So, I guess the only choice left is uh, Char Char Charmander. Yes, I will pick him. Uh, Charizard, he's the last one to evolve. Uh, I don't want to give him a name. You can give your Pokemon nicknames if you want. And uh, Ooster actually told me in real life he always picks the Grass Starter. So, let's see, the Liar Count is 1 and 2. My mom and then Ooster. Mister, how could you have lied to me? Ooster. Wait, Mr. Poop, let's check out our Pokemon. Come on, I'll take you on. Now, Professor X is going to so rudely interrupt this battle, interrupt this battle to tell us how to fight. But I'm going to skip it, or just speed past it, because I already know how. Pretty much what happens is... Um... You fight other people's Pokemon. When that green bar up there that's highlighted goes down to zero, you win. Or is empty. You win. See, what you do is you just pick an attack, and this won't have much action because we only know two attacks. Um, I will forever, probably never use, like, Growl or Tail Whip or anything like that, because I just never have used them. I just don't... No, I just think... They're useless, because I can win anyway. Um, as I was saying, this is probably going to be the least interesting battle. Just scratch, tackle, scratch, tackle. See. I gained 70 experience. Oh yes, every time you run against a battle, you get experience. Your experience builds up in that bar below my thing, like it is now. That blue stuff. And when it goes to the end, you level up. Yep, that's right, Easter. You did pick the wrong Pokemon. I got 80 Dubla Doos for winning. Hmm, excellent. If you want, if you win, you earn prize money, and your Pokemon will grow. Battle other trainers and make your Pokemon strong. Hey, you called it money, we're calling it Dupla Deuce. Okay, I'll make my Pokemon battle to toughen it up. I don't know what that's like. Gramps, smell you later. I feel like I've just been violated. He smelled me. So... I guess we're it's, uh, it's about that time to leave home. What's she doing? Look, look! I copied what it said on the trainer ship sign. Trainer ship. Press start to open the menu. Awesome. But, oh, tall grass Pokemon can appear. Um, like now. This is a Radita. I don't like it because it's a Radita. Not just because of that, I never find it useful for anything. And again, just another one of these boring battles, scratch tackle. Yeah. Anyway, I found myself. I'm a freshman, 15 years old, class 2014. Ha <laughs> ha! And um, I'll be making a video once a day for when this done. This will. I'm soon getting an Xbox controller, so. A wired one so I can play like Nintendo 64 games on my computer. If you want to know how, I'll probably post a video later. That guy gives you a potion because he said he worked at the Pokemart in Viridian City. I hope it's Viridian. Um, so. Um, I'm gonna keep in all the battles. If you don't like it, you don't have to watch. You can plug your ears and go la 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 la. Alright, it's a bit scary, but you can jump. Go back to the countdown. Sorry, I'm really not reading these because. I've read them three times now. Uh, I got a new recording device, so this should work now. So after this battle, uh, Charmander should level up again. Um, anyway, as I was saying, 
I might post part 2 later today, if this works out. But probably not, because I have to study for midterms. Um, okay, so Charizard... Charmander. Why do I keep calling you Charmander? Charmander grew to level 7. Pretty much that just means it powered off, it got more... It can do more damage, it learned a new move, Ember, which pretty much kicks ass. Um, oh, of course, another battle. Ember, fire move, it can burn them. You can see it now. Uh, Ember. Boom, one hit, done. Okay, so Viridian City. I feel like I was supposed to do something here. Something about a Pokemon. Okay. Oh my god. It's a dead man in the middle of the road. I'm just gonna walk away casually. I didn't do it, guys. Trust me. I think it was that woman standing who did it. Oh, here's a Pokemon. Hey, you came from Palatown? Yeah, what of it? You know Professor Oak, right? Maybe. His order came in. Can you take this to him? No. But we'll have to do it anyway. What a jerk. Hey, I put it in my key item socket. That's cool. So, I... I get... Uh, I don't want to do the wrong thing, so... We'll comfort this lady on her loss. Excuse me, ma'am. I'm sorry. Oh, Grandpa, don't be so mean. I'm so sorry. He has a nice coffee yet. Denial, everyone. <sighs> she doesn't know he's dead. She's just saying he's sleeping. Well, there's no point in um doing anything, so let's just walk by casually. I absolutely forbid you from going through here. This is private property. Holy crap, he's not dead. Run away! Even though I can't really run. Anyway. Easy way to get back to Pallet Town without fighting anyone. Boing. Boing. I'm a bunny. Boing. Boing. Ha. Uh, grass, you can stop me. Nope. Boing. Nope. Boing. See, this is just a punch in the face. Like, nope, you can't go through here. Yeah, I got through without fighting anyone. Great. So we're back in Pallet Town. I'm gonna end it off here. Sorry for the short video. I'll probably be posting part two if uh, this goes well. If not, mm, I'm not sure. I'll uh, subscribe if you like it. Uh, I guess that's about it. Okay, thanks. Bye.